wanted to uh, explore more about uh, generations that we deal with? You can uh, star again uh, the crisis leadership and management. Okay. Um, sports leadership, coach slash coaching. And then um, I'm gonna I'm gonna call call this uh, in the Wildland Fire Service. They they have the an actual course called Followership to Leadership. And the idea is you have to be a good follower to be a good leader and you have to understand the followers and it kind of dovetails on Kim's earlier um, uh, statement about bringing in a, a bunch of uh, followers as a panel kind of thing. And then, um, and then we have two different ones here and you can probably put it under one lump thing that, that we, we termed as tactics leadership tactics, let's just call it that, and um, it included things like uh, <coughs> decision-making processes, um, you know, maybe it, it includes some of that analyzing the hot washes and AARs and things like that, uh, but just uh, some things that, we, we, we've talked a lot about theory, but we haven't really done leadership tactics. Okay. I think that's everything, unless one of you guys call me on this and Okay, well, things. Yeah. This is our list, right? Uh, coaching slash mentoring. So if you want to add mentoring, check that. Followership, that's one to check. check. That wasn't check. Oh, you already have the check on there. Uh, just common themes of leadership across the panel. I think that's another check. Generational challenges, check. Conflict management, and that goes to crisis leadership management, essentially. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't remember who, who brought that one up later. Was that you? Maddie? Yes. Okay. It's in a different uh, concept. concept. There's another one down here. Uh, just deeper on your personal communication, your mm -hmm. body language. <clears throat> and then uh, leading through service. Just the idea of social impact as well. I heard that over here. Similar theme. I had a hard time articulating exactly what I meant, but leading through service or corporate responsibility, social responsibility. Thank you. Table five. <coughs> about one-on-one -on -one leadership, uh, high-stress situational leadership. Would that be crisis or something different? Similar, similar to crisis. It's similar, yeah. Um, some kind of uplifting leadership, maybe someone from like the Union Rescue Mission. Um, some kind of military leadership. Adversity leadership. So maybe bringing someone who's overcome uh, adversity, like someone from Tuskegee Airmen, and thrived as, as leaders. Lisa? Well, I think we a lot of our conversation really just focused around what a lot of other tables have said, so I thought it was really good that a lot of us are kind of thinking the same way, especially about the, um, the crisis and the mm -hmm. high-stress leadership, so that seems to be a good theme, and Waka even said, maybe that even like the rope sports or something like that or something where we experience or like an emergency management center where we experience the protocols and procedures in a high stress environment and what leaders do in that. Is that another check for uh, crisis? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what they said. We experienced off the top of the head. Alibi? Um, I brought up a, a good idea. Um, and that was uh, leadership through electronics Is that what I hear from you, Al, is yeah. the yes. pitfalls, the benefits, and the how-tos of social media leadership? 
texting, email, Twitter, Facebook stuff? Yes. Okay. I think, I think Rick's going to jump back in for a awesome. here. Uh, well, Bob and I just want to talk for just a couple of quick minutes regarding um, the project um, and the question Jeff asked with respect to the project for this semester. <clears throat> so what we thought would be um, appropriate Bob said, "Okay, let's let's give them an A. So, so your 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 project grade is A. All right. <clears throat> what what we would like to see is on the last day of 642, following the three dimensions of this assignment, um, give us a um, presentation, PowerPoint, a handout, something that describes the design and development." What, what on, on that last day of this course, what does the design of those four days look like? Just, this is the morning, this is the afternoon. Uh, and if you change it completely after that day, that's, that's fine. We would just like to see what, what, what you have in terms of the design. Here's what we're going to do in the morning, here's what we're going to do in the afternoon. Here's what we're going to do in the morning, here's what we're going to do. <coughs> then in terms of facilitation and teaching, in the morning, this is how it will be taught, this will be how it will be done, and this is what will happen in the afternoon. So that you're adhering to the integrity of the structure. Mm -hmm. And then part three, the evaluation and the assessment, that's probably where we actually would like um, the most, and that is to get um, a review, a presentation, an update of what happened from the time you started 45 minutes ago to where you are on that uh, Sunday morning. Um, what have you, um, what is the evaluation and assessment of, of the process? A few minutes ago when, when uh, we finished talking, we said, there's the outcome side and, and the process side. And Bob had a number of observations a few minutes ago. Um, perhaps you could share. Well, I, I, think the, I think there are two purposes to this project. One, those that Rick laid out that are at the top of the sheet. The other implicit uh, purpose is for you to learn something about large group projects, large group processes. And so the reason that we ask you to first create the, I don't have a title for it, the process, documentation, et cetera, team is to be attentive to the development of the group as a group. That is, what are you learning as you go through this about communications, about power and authority, about motivation, and so forth. So the issue is not just to take pictures of everybody as they go along, but to really understand what's happening with respect to process issues. How's the group growing? What were the roadblocks? Where did we run into very good experiences? Where did we fall off the waterfall? And um, in terms of how how you do that, again, it's all up to you. The outcomes, the what what you're going to do, that's absolutely terrific. The how, the process. That's, that's big time, real time learning. And just, um, just listening to Kimberly's observation a moment ago, um, that's just one person's perspective and you want to be as um, good as you can be capturing the process both for yourselves and then, like I said, on that last uh, day of this course, um, the project that we would like to see can be, here. here's the outline of it, uh, the four days, here's what the process will look like, and then uh, a presentation, videos, what, whatever you think is appropriate in terms of what, what, is, what has happened, how it's happened, the evolution, and um, where you are as of that. And Bob made a really good point that we're talking over here as we we don't want what you present to us on that day 
to feel like um, this is it. We just like to get a sense of it, and if you change it uh, for whatever reason, that's fine. It doesn't really matter. We just kind of want to have a sense of that. Okay. And that that is not for evaluation purposes. If the evaluation grade has already been done. We've set that aside. So any evaluation that occurs beyond that is yours, not ours. Okay. And I, I, I think we'll just for a go. We we've caught enough, so we don't need you to report out anything. Uh, if you want to screw this up on your own, it's totally. <laughs> <laughs> So, that's certainly for a reason for a while. Thank you. Thank you. And enjoy the rest of your day. Awesome.